Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. All right, today we're gonna talk a little bit about DPS Chi Chi. How viable is it, and should you even go for this build? Like after using this build, man, she exceeds my expectations. All right, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I have very low expectations for her to be a main DPS because, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of other options out there, alright? There's Kerching, there's Jin, uh, there's Kea. The reason why I compare those is because, you know, she's competing with all those single-handed sword users. Uh, but in this video, hopefully we can clarify on whether or not it's viable for Chi Chi to be a main DPS and hopefully I can give you guys some insight after using main DPS Chi Chi for a couple of weeks, alright? So we're going to talk about the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of using your Chichi as a main DPS. Alright, so let's talk about the disadvantages first or the downsides of using your Chichi as a main DPS because a lot of people will tell you to avoid doing Chichi as main DPS. Alright, there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, alright, if you jump into Chichi and you look at her talents, you look at this particular skill right here. Alright, so her normal attacks. Because as a main DPS, your normal attack has to be decently strong or decently powerful. Her normal attack probably has the lowest numbers. If I'm not mistaken, hers is like the lowest of all the single-handed sword users. Alright, you look at this. This is level 7, right? And you compare this with like 59.7, 61.5. Let's compare this with Kea, alright? Kea, level 1, 53.8 and 51.7. Kaya's level 1 is almost as good as Chichi's level 7. Alright, so you can you can literally look at these numbers. You can see that her normal attacks have very low percentage numbers compared to a lot of other single-handed sword users. Alright, even compared to someone like Xingqiu at level 4, 59, 60. You know, the main traveler level 6. Like look at this, 64, 63. So yeah, that's one of her disadvantages. If you are using her as a main DPS, she has very low percentage numbers on her normal attacks. Number two, her cryo application is very slow. Now as you can see, she has she relies on mostly this skill, okay, her elemental skill, right? To apply cryo to the enemy. Now ideally her skill does lingers around her for a certain period of time and you know it does deal some cryo damage. But the problem is the cooldown is 30 seconds. Now 30 seconds cooldown is freaking long man, it's, it's really really long, alright? And duration is 15 seconds, alright? Now this is mostly used for healing, I understand that, but when you use her as main DPS, ideally you want to deal as much damage as you can. So having this thing circle around her on top of you doing the, the sword attacks, you know, along the way, so that way you can try to stack up more damage every time you hit an enemy, right? So that's the idea right here. And for her elemental burst, this is very cool, but then again, as a main DPS, you probably won't see much use of this. This is mostly just for you to apply the talisman on the enemy so that you can heal faster. All right, on a Chichi main DPS, you probably will not need this as well. So if you compare elemental skill wise or an elemental burst combined, you can compare with Kea again, right? Because they are both single handed cryo user. And I know a lot of people hate Kea, but just bear with me for a bit. Look at Kea's one, six seconds cooldown. And this guy can spam this every 6 seconds, alright? It's an insane amount of damage as well, at level 1, by the way, mind you. Mine is like, my Chichi is like level 6. Same goes for this Glacial Waltz as well. So comparing both of them, I would say, yeah, Kea would make a better main DPS compared to Chichi. Alright, the third downside of trying to do a main GP DPS Chichi is uh, if you don't have good enough gears, it can be quite expensive. Ideally, Constellation for her at the second one is going to be freaking ridiculous if you're trying to make a DPS Chichi. Alright, the reason why is because the Constellation 2 gives Chichi's normal and charge attack increase by 15% against enemies applied with Cryo. Now this is insanely good, insanely ridiculous, but it's very expensive. Chichi being a 5 stars and all. So yeah, uh, it's really really costly, but I would say that this is like the best constellation for her as a main DPS. Alright, so those are the disadvantages. So now let's talk about the advantages of using Chichi as your main DPS. Now first things first, Chichi is my first 
five star in the game. All right, when I first started playing Genshin Impact, I got Chi Chi. She is the only one that you know I have at friendship then. Now I pulled on the Venti banner, I got her, I was pretty happy for the first couple of days because back then I didn't know what, what she does. But as time goes on, I started to feel a bit, a bit off. Like I'm, I'm trying to do this comparison like everybody else has Mona, has Kaching, has Diluc, they have Jin as their first 5 star. But I got a goddamn Chi Chi. Alright, she's good as a healer for sure, right? And then, but everybody gets a Barbara for free. So is there a need to have a Chi Chi as a healer? Because Barbara is literally free and they've made it permanent as well. So I decided, okay, let, let's try something different. Let's make her a main DPS. And man, I have been enjoying it ever since. Okay, so before we proceed further, maybe I should climb somewhere safer. I don't want her to be just hanging on the cliff forever. Let me find some place safe. Okay, let's talk about the advantages of using Chi Chi as your main DPS. Number one, you don't need a healer because she heals, right? So, you can do both things at the same time. Like, since she's your main DPS, you don't have to worry about swapping her out. You know, she's going to deal all the attacks to the enemies. And you focus... You don't have to focus on healing, because she is going to be on the battlefield most of the time. So you don't have to, like, focus too much on healing, right? So ideally, as a main DPS CG, so your job is just to have three more supports that basically can create elemental reaction with her, right? Now another advantage or benefit of using Chichi as your main DPS is Superconduct. Alright, if you guys are not aware, Superconduct is an elemental reaction where if you mix Cryo with Electro, you get Superconduct. Now what it does is it reduces physical resistance on enemies by 50%. Minus 50%, that is a lot. Alright, so since Chichi is already a Cryo user, right? So she is already half of Superconduct and you just need to pair her up with an Electro. Alright, Fischl will probably be one of the better ones, alright, to help boost Chi Chi's DPS. Alright, so while Chi Chi has very low numbers on her main attack, but if you compare her with a lot of other single-handed sword users, her attack speed is actually quite fast, alright? So this is how fast she can attack. You can see Sin Chu attack slightly slower, right, to finish the string, and this is Kea. And Traveler. So compared to all of them, Chi Chi attacks way faster, right? So the attack speed is also very important in battle to finish the chain or the string of chains, right? So ideally, if you can finish your chain faster, you don't have to get interrupted by monsters' battles and you can, you know, just dash away faster. So I do think that's a big advantage that Chi Chi has. You know, low numbers, but the attack speed, like I mentioned, makes up for it. Alright, the stats. So I have about uh, 2,000 attack, right? 2,000 attack, I have 53% crit rate, 142% crit damage, and I have 83.3% physical damage bonus. Alright, so I think this is a good enough stats. So ideally, I feel like she is best paired with another cryo user because they, if you can stack two cryo, alright, what it does is you have crit rate increase against enemies that are frozen or affected by cryo by another 15%. Now that is an additional a lot of crits, alright? So I do think that going for 2 cryo if you're running a CG DPS would be ideal and hopefully you have an electro as well to help boost the physical damage. Alright, in terms of equipments, my weapon, I have the black sword currently at level 89, okay? So this is the battle pass weapon and this is probably one of the best sword in the game. It gives crit rate, it just makes it so easy to build her accordingly, alright? As in terms of artifacts, what I'm using right now is two pieces of Gladiator's Finale and two pieces of Bloodstained Chivalry. Alright, so getting that 18% attack boost and 25% physical damage bonus. I think this is the best way to go. Obviously, there's still room for improvements because some of these are pretty bad. I think this crit damage one is pretty bad, yeah. It, it gives crit damage, but look at the substats, alright? It's like HP, attack... Ugh, ugh, what is this? All of this is like... I did roll twice into the flat attack. It is... I guess it's not that bad. That's still flat attack, right? <laughs> uh, it's pretty bad actually. Okay, so physical damage bonus on Goblet is ideally what you want. Alright, it does have attack percent. I don't think I rolled once into this attack percent. I think I rolled twice into energy recharge and twice into elemental mastery, if I'm not mistaken. The 
Sense of Eon, I have this pretty, pretty decent attack percentage one, alright? It does give crit rate, crit damage, and Feather, this is probably the best Feather that I've gotten in the game, so I decided to give it to her, stack a bunch of crit rate and crit damage, and attack percent. And the Flower is, is okay, I think I rolled a bit too much into the defense percentage again, so as you can see, there are plenty of room for improvements in the artifacts, and in terms of the constellation, like I mentioned, mine is constellation 0, talents is 7, 6, 6. Now ideally, if you are a main DPS, you should be focusing on your auto attacks because that's what she's going to be doing most of the time. But even at level 7, I would say her damage is pretty decent. All right, I wouldn't say it's the best. Of course, I've seen Deluxe that deal 8k auto attacks. I've seen that before. But, you know, considering that uh, this is a pretty low skill still, I feel like there's quite a lot of room for improvements in the future. Now if I want to, I can still... I'm not sure if I want to do it, you know? I do... I think I do have Prosperity, I can just craft and try to make it to 64.5%, but then again, maybe I'll let it stay here for now, alright? Maybe I'll let it stay here for now. Alright, again, my Chichi is level 80 as of the time of me recording this. I am working on getting her to level 90, it will take a long way before I get these two remaining ones, but... Yep, it doesn't improve much, she does get a bit more base attack, a bit more healing bonus, which I'm not using her for. So yeah, obviously, uh, if you want to build a DPS CG, if you do not have a Black Sword, you can also give her the Prototype Rancor. Alright, so this Prototype Rancor right here, uh, this is a free-to-play option, craftable weapon, it gives physical damage bonus. I do think that this is going to be a better, more optimal a physical damage build for her and of course in terms of the artifacts right you can either go for something like this or you can go for four piece gladiator now four piece gladiator is going to be quite hard to farm i've been trying to farm gladiator set and the rng is really not there it's really really difficult i don't have four piece gladiator that are good enough for me to use now ideally if you are running the prototype rancor you might need to run the artifact right here uh change this into a crit damage i mean into a crit rate right so that you get more crit rate as opposed to crit damage. You want to at least have, in my opinion, I would say try to at least have 40% crit rate, all right? So that way you can have a much more consistent damage instead of just getting like big numbers once in a while. So yeah, that's overall how I built my Chichi. And I do think that Chichi is very fun to play with. And I know somebody is gonna say in the comments and hey, Chichi is a healer, you shouldn't build her as DPS. But at the end of the day, this is a game, all right? and. You know, we are here to have fun. And I totally understand that if you just want to follow the majority to go for a healer GG, there's nothing wrong with that. But let me tell you this, I've been having a ton of fun using the, my DPS GG, alright? Whenever I call with my friends or something, alright? Last time my GG is always doing like 200 to 300 damage. Now my GG is consistently doing 1k, sometimes 4k damage if she crits consistently, which is insane. It, it's insane, alright? It's just more fun to have her fit the role of healing and doing damage at the same time. So I thought, you know, if you guys want to try this build out, feel free. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, all right? As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.